Welcome back to Power Slap Entertainment, where we put the employed in unemployed. I'm going to be honest with you. I have the worst luck when it comes to finding jobs, much less keeping them. It seems like nowadays you need a ton of experience just to even get your foot in the door. And get paid to breathe. I can do that! 42 years of experience required. I can do that! You already said that line. As a result of these tough hurdles, more and more people are turning to internships. If you don't know what an internship is, it's basically like being someone's butler for a year without getting paid. Most people do internships to get work experience, while I had to do it for other reasons. I'm about to tell you guys my most dishonorable academic decision. So you know how in the last year of middle school you have to choose a language course to take in high school? Well, since I'm Hispanic, I decided to go with the obvious choice, French. I figured since I already knew two languages that this was my opportunity to be trilingual. Now let's just say that I failed so hard that my GPA looked like a GPF and I recycled that joke from a previous video, but I don't care. That's how bad my GPA was. Since I needed the credits for my French class to graduate high school, my counselor gave me two options. Either take a course on campus about computers every Thursday after school or take this vague course called marketing every single day at a campus like 20 minutes away. Obviously, I chose the computer course, but all the spots were taken up, so my only option was the marketing course. The day I show up, I'm greeted by a teacher who dressed exactly like Neo, except he was like 70 years old and white. <laughs> all right, everybody, this is going to be a fun class. Our goal is to help you get ready for the workplace. Turn to your neighbor and ask them some interview questions. What makes you qualified to work here? Um, what makes you qualified to interview me? you're fired uh you can't fire me if i'm not hired b is he is he even allowed to do that uh i guess you're hired i quit everything was fun at first one day we're making posters the next day we're making play-doh hats one day i was paired up with the slacker kid and this hot girl that had really hairy arms we were making like macaroni art or something bruh 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 um, I'm uh, I'm failing most of my classes this semester. I'm thinking of just like dropping out or something. Bleh. Don't worry about it, man. This class is easy. It's not that bad. All right, class. Now that you've made macaroni art, I feel like you're all ready for a real job. This is a joke, right? I've written some neighboring establishments on a sheet of paper. Write your top three places you'd want to work and turn it in before you leave. All of a sudden, we go from a nice chill class to a competitive work environment. My psycho friend is not having it. How come we weren't told about this beforehand? Uh, I don't know, maybe it was in the description of the class, but I just kind of glossed it over. I, uh, I didn't know about this either, but it's either work or none of us graduate high school. Harry Arm Girl has a point. Wait, what? We're all gonna graduate. I really don't want to do this either, but I don't want to end up some diplomaless loser like Bill Gates. Okay, so all that happens, and then I decide to sign up for a skateboard shop job near my house and wait for class the next day. Okay class, this is going to be our last meeting this week. Starting tomorrow, we'll only be meeting on Fridays and you'll be working Monday through Thursday. Make sure you look presentable, Carlos, and that you show up on time. He starts handing us back our papers. Wow, I get to work in the Hello Kitty shop. Radical. I get to team up with Batman. Whoa, I get to work at TJ Maxx? This wasn't even in my top three choices. Sorry, man, we ran out of room. For those of you guys that don't know, TJ Maxx is a clothing store, and I don't know anything about clothes. Why do you think my character is always naked? Because of a stylistic choice? Nah, because I'm a nudist in real life. I don't own any presentable clothing either, so my mom buys me a nice white collared shirt, and as I'm on my way to TJ Maxx, I'm eating some tacos, since there really isn't any time between my classes and the internship, and I end up spilling taco meat all over my white shirt. My mom then takes me home and gives me a backup shirt that belongs to my dad. At this point, I'm sweaty and tired, and I really want to stay home, but my diploma is on the line. I bite the bullet and I arrive at the gates of TJ Maxx three minutes late. When I get to the back room, I see hairy arm girl, some fat old guy, and another random girl. Why are you late? I, uh, spilled tacos on my shirt. Huh? Well, I didn't really have time to eat and I was eating in the car. Uh, yeah. What makes you think you're even qualified to work here? Well, I can make some mean macaroni art. 
correct. I wish I said that. Whatever. Take this card and go clean the bathroom or something. Oh, wait. I'm not allowed to make you do that. Just go clean something. This guy was intimidating. I was too scared to ask for any clarification. So I just headed out to some random corner filled with children's toys and started cleaning. Every now and again, a pedestrian would walk up to me and ask me for directions. Excuse me, do you know where the buster blades are? Since I didn't really know where anything was, I would normally just say, Nope, I'm new here. Go ask that guy. And I would point to a random guy wearing a collared shirt and hoped he worked here. The whole time I was doing this, I felt miserable. I even started having flashbacks to all the good times I had just making posters and goofing off with my friends. Dudes, what if we just ate the macaroni? Whoa, this guy's a genius. Oh my god, this guy's the best. This kid, this kid's going places. Okay, that didn't happen either. I never got any training and basically ended up cleaning a single toy for like three hours. When I got to the break room, Harry Arm Girl was all like, oh, why'd you say that you spilled tacos on your shirt? Couldn't you have come up with a better excuse? No, that's actually what happened. She then goes on to tell me that the bald guy was giving her and the other girl training the whole time I was cleaning the toys. He never once approached me or had any other contact with me. I felt like I was a ghost to everybody. The next day in class, some of my classmates were talking about the after school computer class. <laughs> yeah, man, it's awesome. All we do is play Flabby Bear and watch YouTube videos. <laughs> YouTube videos? Only dumb people watch those. Please let me know if there's a spot available. This time on my way to my internship, I don't eat anything and I show up like 10 minutes early. As I'm heading toward the break room, the bald guy stops me and says, Why are you here? What do you mean? Didn't your teacher tell you? Ellipses. We don't really need you working here, bud. You mean I'm, I'm fired? If you even want to call it that. I'm not going to lie, part of me was happy, but the other part of me was scared, since I didn't know how I was going to get the credits to graduate high school. And also... I had no idea why I was being fired in the first place. He never even instructed me. The worst part was that I didn't have a phone to call my mom or to pick me back up. So I had to do something really horrible. Um, can I borrow a phone? The phone is only normally for employees, but this time I'll make an exception. It took a while for my mom to answer since I was calling from a retail number. But when she did, the exact thing I said was, Mom, I got fired. Can you please pick me up? I then sat outside the curb and awaited my fate. Will Carlos get a new job? Will Carlos get scolded by his mom? Will he graduate high school? Find out next time and feel free to share your first job internship experiences down below. And I'll see all you dudes in the next video. <laughs>